so proud to be in the house with you. You know, Mark laid it out, all of the speakers before me laid it out. We all know why we are here. And we're really here to marshal our synergy, our resources, mental, physical, and spiritual, to make sure that we send the Honorable Javanka Beckles to the State Assembly. This fight, sisters and brothers, is a fight for justice. Clean water is about justice. Clean air is about justice. Clean food is about justice. Medicare for all is about justice. And so, in Councilwoman Beckles, what we have is a tried and true public servant. See, we don't have to, she don't have to make up anything about her record. Because it's real. She's in the Richmond City Council and she fought against big corporations. Chevron, anybody, for the people. She is a mental health professional and understands that compassion is important, that we should live as we climb. She also understands that corporations should not come before our communities and people should always be over profits. She understands that. And as much as we do love endorsements, endorsements are important, it's a beautiful thing because it's important for voters to know who's on the side of the person that they're voting for, but let's not get seduced by some of the fancy names on the other side. We know who the true public servant is. And that's Jamaica Beckham. Now, we're sick and tired in the words of Fannie Lou Hamer being sick and tired. So sisters and brothers of the East Bay, let me say what I say all across this country, that any old blue just won't do. And we have the right blue in Javonka Beckham, so we will not be seduced by the other side. Right. That far too often in this country with the neoliberals on the Democratic side and we got to fight the GOP on the other side, it's time to send a real champion to the state assembly in California. Any old group just won't do it. So what our sister needs, and East Bay, y'all all pumped up. Can I just tell you, me and my dear friend, Linda, we just came back from the Michael Moore movie. And I'm telling you something, I'm, I'm fired up, I'm mad as hell, and I'm ready to go at all times. And if you have not seen that movie, you need to go see that movie, and it further illustrates why it is important who we elect to office, who we elect matters. Javonka Beckles is the one, because she understands what true public service is. It's about the people. And then you've got Prop 10 here, uh, you got that. And I understand the other person is equivocating on whether or not we need to have some rent control. You know, as I was just in San Francisco for She the People, and I was walking down the street, Eric and I, he's our, I gotta give Eric a shout out, he knew I was gonna do that. Y'all give Eric a hand clap. Our revolution. He lives right here in the Bay Area working for the National, holding it down for you all. But just walking through the streets of San Francisco, your, your, your sister city, and seeing all the homeless people on the streets. Yeah, yeah. Most people don't want to be, and even here too, but it was just really concentrated for me. Every step we took, yeah. Yeah. and it broke my heart. And I'm asking myself, what in the hell, and I mean that, are the people elected to office doing for the everyday woman, man, and child of San Francisco, of Oakland, of, of California, of Ohio, of Washington State, of Hawaii. Besides padding their pockets and answering to their owners, I'm sorry, I mean their donors. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, people are suffering. Now, sisters and brothers, I've met many people all across this country, and I've never met one person who's ever said to me, Sister Turner, I want to be poor. <laughs> people don't want to be poor. Everybody got hope in the dream. And so I am here to testify tonight, which you already know, is that the damn system is rigged. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's rigged socially, it's rigged economically, it's rigged politically. But just as some people have rigged the system, it will take conscious minded people of the rainbow mosaic to unrig that system. And that is what we are about these days. And we're going to send Sister Becker to the assembly. Now, one of the things I want you to do is those of you who have a smartphone, I want you to hold up your smartphone. We can do this. And our revolution is on a mission. I want you to know that Councilwoman Beckles is in our top five candidates that we are supporting. So I need you to do something for me with that smartphone. I need you to text PROGRESS to 83224. That's PROGRESS to 83224. PROGRESS to 83224. Because it is going to take a Sea of people, not just in California, we want to nationalize this race. Because what her win means to the progressive movement is not just about you in East Bay, it's not just about the state of California. Her win further solidifies that the progressives are on the move, that we are winning seats, and that we are putting public servants in office who will not kowtow to big money interests against the interests of the people. That is what her win means. We're going to put her up there with Sister Ocasio. We're going to put her up there with sisters like Christine Pellegrino in New York running this race and Julia Salazar. We're going to put her up there with Sister Omar running in that Congress in Minnesota. And brothers, I don't want to leave you out, but I'm talking about the sisters right about now. <laughs> but progressives, we are softening the soil. And that is what this race means in every race, and even our sisters and brothers who have run under the banner of progressives who may not have won their seat, Cynthia Nixon giving her a shout out for stepping in the arena. <laughs> Brother Jemani Williams stepped in the arena. Every progressive candidate that dares to get into the arena, whether they win the seat outright or whether they just don't quite make it, what they are doing is softening the soil for the next generation of progressives to come behind them. Baby, we are on the move and the American people are on the move with us.